हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल इजी लाइफ साइंस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो दैट यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन टाइम टू टाइम लाइक द माय वीडियो एंड शेयर इट टू योर फ्रेंड्स हियर वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट द वी आर टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए टी the atp molecule it is a high energy compound the high energy compounds are the compounds which couples the two reactions that means the high energy compounds takes a energy which are generated from a exergonic reactions and this energy is donated to perform a endergonic reactions so they couples the two reactions exergonic and a uh, endergonic so high energy compound like uh, atp are very essential in a cellular respiration there is a complete breakdown of a uh, glucose molecule with the help of uh, oxygen in short we can say that in a uh, respiration the glucose get oxidized and after oxidation of a uh, glucose there is a production of a carbon dioxide water and a energy in form of a atp so in a cellular respiration there the glucose fear there the storage uh, energy in form of chemical energy it get converted into a atp and this atp is a form of a usable energy here is a schematic structure of a atp atp is a adenosine triphosphate and this atp is a energy that cell can be used to do the work it is also a currency for a cell and the energy is stored in a phosphate bonds here in this representation we can see for a phosphate bonds here are the phosphate bonds and in that phosphate bonds there is a storage of energy and this stored energy get released when this phosphate bonds are broken down if you look at to the chemical structure of a uh, atp here we can see for a uh, nitrogen base that is a uh, adenine the adenine is a purine nitrogen base it is double membrane or double membrane cycled compound and <coughs> a sugar that is a pentose sugar it is a ribose sugar and the three molecule of inorganic phosphate by combination of these three there is a formation of a one atp molecule the adenine that is a nitrogen based adenine there is a one bond in between a nitrogen atom of a adenine and a carbon atom number first of a ribose sugar this bond is called as a glycosidic bond and totally by binding of a ribose sugar to the adenine there is a formation of a unit it is called as a adenosine means these two unit together forms a adenosine this adenosine further get attached with a one inorganic phosphate molecule and leads to formation of a amp adenosine monophosphate mono means a single single phosphate this is adenosine and this is phosphate so togetherly it becomes a adenosine monophosphate or amp and the bond between adenosine and one phosphate is a phosphodiester bond this bond is a phosphodiester bond this amp 
further get attached with a another inorganic phosphate molecule with the help of a phosphoenol bond here we can see for a phosphoenol bond and this is a high energy bond that means here there is a storage of a large energy this amp with a another phosphate molecule togetherly forms a adp adp stands for a adenosine diphosphate because there are the two phosphates and here is a adenosine so adenosine diphosphate further the adp molecule or the adenosine diphosphate molecule is attached with a third phosphate group with the help of a enol bond or a phosphoenol bond and this is also a high energy bond that means in that bond there is a storage of a high energy so adp with addition of a one phosphate molecule togetherly forms a atp and we can see for a energy generation after a breakdown of a atp or after a breakdown of a adenosine triphosphate here is the structure of a atp this is a adenine that is a nitrogen base here is a gly uh, glycosidic bond in between adenine and the ribose sugar here is a phosphodiester bond in between adenosine and one phosphate molecule but the bond which are represented in this image by a arrow are a enol bond or phospho anhydride bond and these two high energy bonds shows a amount of uh, shows a storage of a high amount of energy and when because of uh, addition of a water molecule in a atp hydrolysis hydrolysis of a atp will take place and this hydrolysis is carried out by a uh, one enzyme or a group of enzyme called as a atpase the atpase are the enzymes which breaks down a atp molecule and because of the action of atp atpase on a atp molecule it breaks a this phospho anhydride bond and because of breaking of this anhydride bond there is a release of a energy and this energy is 30.5 kilo joule per mole of the atp after breakdown of this bond 30.5 kilo joule energy get released and one phosphate molecule get released and one adp molecule get released so this is a very high energy compound at time of a formation of a atp atp is formed from a adp and one inorganic phosphate and this reaction is called as a phosphorylation and this phosphorylation is uh, takes place by with the help of a enzyme kinase and during this formation of a atp here is a energy absorption and once atp is formed it get hydro hydrolyzed by a action of a enzyme atpase and release a energy in order to turn Uh, glucose into a atp there are a uh, three steps there are uh, some metabolic steps which generate a uh, energy in form of atp by using a uh, glucose in this metabolism glucose get oxidized and hence energy in form of atp get released one is the glycolysis krebs cycle and electron transport chain the glycolysis it is also called as a emp pathway which is discovered by the three scientists emberden meerhoff and parnas 
क्रेप साइकिल इट इज ऑल्सो कॉलड एज अ सिट्रिक एसिड साइकिल और इट इज ऑल्सो कॉलड एज अ टी सी ए साइकिल दैट इज ट्राई कार्बोजिलिक एसिड साइकिल एंड थर्ड दैट इज अ इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन और अ ई टी सी दीज आर द थ्री स्टेप्स और थ्री वेज विच प्रोड्यूसेस अ ए टी पी बाय यूजिंग अ ग्लूकोज Here, here are the three questions. What is ATP? Where is uh, energy stored in uh, ATP? What are the three steps needed to turn glucose into ATP? Answers are there. ATP is the uh, only molecule that the cell can use it for uh, energy and to do the work. Where is energy stored in uh, ATP? Energy from uh, ATP is stored in a uh, phosphate bonds. What are the three steps needed to turn glucose into a ATP? That is glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and electron transport chain. Now, what is glycolysis? As said earlier, glycolysis is a breakdown of a one glucose molecule into a two pyruvate molecule or a two pyruvic acids. And this process of a conversion of a glucose into a pyruvic acid. it occurs into a cytoplasm and for this glycolysis or a amp pathway no oxygen is required and during this conversion one glucose molecule to a two pyruvic acid molecule nine steps are there nine different enzymes are required for it no oxygen is required and there is a formation of two atp molecules as well two high energy molecules in form of a reducing power that is nadh are produced means uh, now the atp count is a 2 the next step that is a krebs cycle and this krebs cycle occurs in a mitochondria it requires a oxygen and in this krebs cycle or a tca cycle this is a cyclic reaction and the net gain in the tca cycle is two atp molecules plus in a tca cycle or a krebs cycle eight high energy molecules are formed these are nadh and fadh but the actual atp molecules produced in this krebs cycle are two in numbers to form glycolysis and to form krebs cycle then the atp count is 4 here the electron transport chain and this electron transport chain is located in a mitochondria in case of eukaryotic organism but in case of prokaryotic organism like bacteria it is located in a cell membrane and in a electron transport chain to release energy or to form a energy there is a need of oxygen number of compounds are located in a atc and these compounds are called as carriers and these carriers takes a electron and get reduced simultaneously that reduced compound donate the electron to the next next carrier in a series and get reduced uh, oxidized so finally the electron reach to the molecule oxygen and during this uh, transport there is a formation of a atp the total molecule of a atp formed in a atc are 30 atp so in a atc 30 atp from a tca cycle 2 and from a glycolysis 2 overall atp count is 34 and here the in a atc there is a presence of a enzyme that is a atp synthase enzyme and this atp synthase enzyme by using a electrochemical gradient it leads to formation of 
और ए टी पी मॉलिक्यूल्स सो टोटली द ग्लाइकोलिस प्लस क्रेप साइकिल प्लस ई टी सी इफ द वन ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल इज गेट ऑक्सीडाइजर इट लीड्स टू जनरेट थर्टी फोर मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ ए टी पी नाउ अबाउट एन एरबिक रेस्पिरेशन what happens if you have to make a atp and don't have a oxygen no oxygen is there but you have to need to produce a atp molecule so this respiration is called as a anaerobic respiration and in a metabolic process only the glycolysis is there and this glycolysis does not requires a any kind of oxygen and it leads to formation of a two atp molecules two kinds of anaerobic respirations are there in animals in a muscles of animals there is a production of two atp molecule plus a one lactic acid in a yeast two atp molecules and a ethyl alcohol is produced in a an aerobic respiration aerobic respiration it occurs in presence of oxygen and so this aerobic respiration makes a high amount of energy that is a 34 atp molecules here there is a difference in between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration towards the left is a uh, anaerobic respiration there is no need of oxygen for aerobic respiration there is a need of oxygen in a muscle there is a formation of lactic acid or the yeast cell produces a alcohol this reactions occurs at absence of oxygen so these are anaerobic respirations where by breakdown of uh, glucose there is a production of co2 and a h2o and high amount of energy is generated in uh, aerobic respiration anaerobic respiration produces only a uh, two atp molecules whereas aerobic respiration produces a uh, 34 molecules of atp thank you please subscribe my channel like the video press the bell icon and share it to the your friends